Well, hello, hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to the latest map by Oxygen David with some changes that we've done to it because we have prepared to be able to be used and demonstrate how the global goods palette works on every single situation. We have orchards, greenhouses, animals, productions, we have extra production from the mod hub, in-game productions, in-game mods, and of course, we have also real regular harvest procedures, regular harvest process that you can actually integrate in the use of the global goods transport. Now, let's jump into it and let's see everything that is included with this newest mod. One pallet to rule them all. So before, a quick test on where can you find the pallet in the store. So you're going to find it in the in the section objects and then you're going to find it in big bags. If you go to the end, you're going to find two big bags. You have global goods transport bag that holds any bulk product or production. And then you're going to have, you're going to find a global liquids transport bag that is going to hold any liquid that you have. You also have it in a pallet version. Just in case if you prefer it this way, you have it the same characteristics, same everything, but as a pallet. Now, how can we use the global transport pallet? Well, mainly three areas. You can use it as an unloading point, as a distribution and refilling point, or also, of course, as a pallet autoload, because the global pallet autoloads everything that you want to put on it. So let's start with something basic, an unloading point. So as unloading point, the big bag or the global bag can be used to pick product from our equipment. Or, for example, the combine from the output from our orchards, our augers, or extra, as an extra, any tipper, tanker, or trailer that you have in the field that you need to unload fast. Okay, so in this case, I have here the uh, the bag that is for goods, any bulk product material or whatever that it's not liquid. And I have there one combine that has an auger in somewhere. I have another combine that is full. So how do we do that? I have also my 3500 and my bag. In order to use it as an unloading point, you need absolutely nothing. You just grab it by hand. Just put it on the trailer, on the tent, on the vehicle you can strap it if you want in case in this case since I have the since I have the sights I don't need it and then you just drive you're gonna see that the back moves a bit it, it wobbles it's a back it's empty now I'm gonna drive next to the combine and you position yourself below the auger just, just like that something like that am I right now the combine is off so it's not gonna work we need to just put it just as a visual stuff. Try to be center because the trigger is big, and uh, and like don't use the straps when you are uh, when you are loading it. And voila, the bag is getting the bag is getting filled with a nice animation. It's getting extended. Another uses is actually to use it as an unloading point as a like driving unloading point this is not a tipper but i just put the bag on the back of the of the 3500 and we have here a ropa tiger that it's almost full check that we just drive next to it well, you need to be careful and now he's gonna stop and the ropa can unload inside our bag and boom be done with it you can also unload inside the global goods transport pallet or any of them from any tanker, tipper, trailer or whatever. So if you're running out of time in these in these harvests and you need a special and a fast unloading point, just grab the big pallet. For example, put it down real capacity and 200,000 liters inside of it. We're gonna buy, we're gonna get it. So you just grab it by hand. We're gonna put it next to the tipper. Closer, there, something. Put it there. We're gonna jump inside the tipper, and you can see that it says sugar beet. Start the engine. And it's going to unload the sugar beet. Now I'm using the small door. Let me change that. That's gonna take forever. Um. 
We're gonna change to tip slide back. There you go. That's gonna be faster. And you see that right now the back is not getting filled that that fast. Well, because it's unreal capacity. Now it has 21,000 liters. So if you are in a rush in your harvest, just put one of these bags, one of these pallets next to the field, and you can unload into it, and then you will take care of the harvest. Nothing will get withered. You don't need to wait, and you don't have to stop for anything. Last but not least, in as a picking product from equipment like kinda utility, we have the orchards in Farming Simulator 22. That's a big deal. That's one of the that's one of the cool functionalities that we have. We have vineyards and we have olives. I have prepared here two machines that are already filled. So, as usual, and as normally what happening before, we put it just closer to the machine. We get inside, and you can see that you can overload grapes. So you just overload the grapes. And the bag is going to be nicely filled with grapes. It also works with olives. We will need another bag for that, but it also works with olives. So anything you like. Now, you can also use it to fill it from a silo. For an example, from a multi-fruit buying station, from a farm silo, or even from a ground water source. Now, in order to fill it, you need to operate it. You cannot, uh, you cannot just grab it by hand. So I'm going to show you how to move around the bag and how to fill it from a trigger, from something that needs to, you know, press the left bumper, the left stick down to fill it. In order to operate it, I'm going to use the newest Kubota Skidsteer in uh, just without any attachment. You see that it's only the Skidsteer. I'm getting closer to the global palette and it says attach. It attached like if it's a, a like an attachment, and you have automatically appearing this Kidster attacher. Now let's find the silo and let's show how it works. Well, here we are uh, at our silo, and this is a little bit tricky because since the pallet can be filled and unloaded automatically, you may have to find a sweet spot. For example, if I go here, it won't trigger the fill because the filling point is higher. So I need to elevate it a bit. And then it tells me it starts filling. Now, the problem is, it's going to fill and unload at the same time. So try not to position the pallet on the unloading point, because then it's going to take forever. So right now we are filling it, and you see that it's taking a little bit of time, because at the same time it's also unloading. So that's a little bit of a, that's a, little bit of a, of a, of a problem, because it's acting at the same time. It's twice. It's doing it twice. It's loading and unloading. But uh, it gives you the opportunity to see a very nice animation. Now, once you're done, just move aside, move away from the silo, and you just filled your bag with your uh, with your product. Now, you can also use it to buy product. Let's check it out. So we are now in, in the production area that I've set down, that I put in here, and we have here the bakery, we have my multi fruit buying station that is also available in the, in the mod app to download, and we have another production area down there. Now I need raw materials because I want to produce bread, and I don't have the flour. Well, I can go with this palette and just select what I, whatever I need. For example, if I need to produce flour, I will give it, I will give it grain to the grain mill but in this case I want the flour already so we're gonna just go and select flour we're gonna fill it with flour and then you can go to your productions and just drop it there before we do that we're gonna check on the other palette because this is the this is the goods palette but we have also a liquid palette Okay, so here we are back into the area that we created with the greenhouses, with the orchards, we have some productions, we have also the animals, and in here I have the Merlot Turbo Farmer, this is available to download, and also a pond that, uh, that we have created just right there. Now, this is a bag, but this is the bag that it's for liquids, okay? So we're going to demonstrate that right now. I've created a pond, the pond is available on ModHub, I'm going to connect the bag, and I'm gonna move closer to the pond, and you can see that. Try not to get into the pond. It says that refill pallet right now. I'm gonna just pretty just the animation looks better. And we are going to refill it. And right now, this is 200,000 liters of water, so it's gonna take a solid minute. 
We're gonna do a time lapse, so I'm gonna use the music skip point and record the time lapse. Now that was the last example of how to use the uh, how to use the palette. Uh, in this case, the liquid palette, and we just fill it with two hundred thousand liters of water. Now, second part is where to use it, how to use it. You can see that this palette is full of is full of water, so it kind of it kind of wobbles a bit. Yay! It's kind of funny. Uh, the animation that we've been able to create right there, where the water actually it seems that. The like the stripes are holding it there, but it's, I mean, it's liquid, so it actually it actually moves and wobbles. So next step is right now distributing and refilling. But distributing and refilling what? Well, uh, we set up greenhouses, productions, and also our own machinery. We can overload it or also load our pallet from our own machinery, like a field trigger. Let's check those out. So here we are, we are arriving to our greenhouses, and the greenhouses, of course, they need water. And we have 200,000 liters. As soon as you get closer, well, it's gonna start unloading the water. And that's it. You see the bag going down also. The bag is getting unloaded. It's collapsed a bit, and we don't have uh, more space for water. Now I'm gonna level it a bit and we're gonna go to another place because of course you can go to the animals. I'm gonna just, just smash all the grass in here and now since we don't have animals they're not going to consume the water but we can still refill it with water. We can also go with the big bag and go to the productions. We have maple syrup in here. Maple syrup Yes, it's going to take water. Now, you can also leave the bag in the ground. You can just put it here for an example. And whenever whenever the maple syrup production needs water, well, it's going to consume water. Okay, right now we have 200,000 liters of water and we don't have active production in here. But if if we if it starts producing and it starts needing water, well, it's going to consume the water automatically. Now, in here we have 134,000 liters of water. We can, of course, grab it by hand and just put it there. Okay, so we can leave it here, and everything will be uh, everything will be automatically automatically consumed by the by the production. We have another example of that, and we're gonna check it. So here we are, and we are uh, close to our bakery. You saw the example before that we were filling the pallet with flour on the Multifruit filling station. And now we are going to deliver this pallet. And this is going to be consumed automatically by the production. And I'm going to see that pallet. I'm going to just drop that pallet here. Now, I don't know if it needs more flour or I just I'll move it out of the trigger. Wait me a second. There you go. Okay. Now it's empty of flour, and I'm gonna drop it here in the ground. I'm it a bit. Come on, come on, come on. Let me see if we can autoload the pallets. Because I need to move in, maybe. Let me see. There you go. It needs to get. Uh, it needs to take conscience of of the pallet in the ground. But. You can also leave it here and it's going to auto load the bread inside your pallet. So it was flour before, now it has 2000 liters of bread. So that will work with any production. For example, you saw that we have the maple syrup down there. We're going to see if we see if we have pallets of maple syrup and we're going to get and see if we can actually load them. Just come with me. Well, here we are, and this is our maple syrup production, and we're gonna get close to see if something happens. Well, as you can see, the the capacity of the of the big bag, sorry, the the container of the big bag, the water, is being reduced because this is actually using it, and you can see that the number of water is kind of it kind of changes. Okay, it's generating maple syrup right now, and we have yep, we have two pallets of maple syrup right here ready to collect. Now, um, this big bag is full of water 
and this is maple syrup. Now, this big bag, I don't remember if the big bags of liquid actually holds maple syrup. Let's check it out. So, nope. The big bag, uh, the liquid big bag does not hold uh, maple syrup. So, we're going to get another one. We're going to get one of these, one of the global goods transports back. And let's see uh, if we can actually auto load the special production. This is not base game production. This is a mod. And let's see if our big bag actually loaded. Get another one and we'll be right back. So here we have uh, our bag. I'm not gonna. I'm not even use the the, the wheel loader. The, I'm just gonna put it here. And you can see, 576,000 liters. And boops, loaded. Now I wonder if we leave it here. We let out to load wherever it's coming from the production. Yes, of course. Yes, of course. Anything that is produced in this point, it's gonna be automatically loaded in here in the big bag. So uh, whenever we are distributing and refilling, we have our machinery and here we are with our with our case set up, ready to plant this field. Now we don't have seeds and we don't have liquid fertilizer. So we have a 3500 and two big bags. So let's check how we do it. Well, we arrived to the field with the 3500 and the big bags properly strapped. So unstrap them. Let's grab the one that has seeds and we're going to see how the trigger works in here and well, we can actually, it's pretty easy this one. I believe everything is full. Oh, the other one. That's it. I can put the big bag in here and gonna grab the other one. This is the one for the liquid fertilizer. Now we position the liquid fertilizer bag next to the planter. We jump into the tractor and it says refill sealer. You press L and it's going to consume the liquid fertilizer from the bag. As you can see. Then you're done with it. When you're done, grab the bag, move it out of the way. Put it here next to the field. Jump into your tractor and the work it don't want to work. There you go. And start planting. Like we said, one bag to rule them all. We covered the following. We covered using the bag as an unloading point. You can pick it up from a combine, orchard, auger, or any trailer. You can fill it from a silo. It needs to be attached though. It needs to be attached. You can also fill it from a multi-fruit buying station, a farm silo, or we also shown how to how to fill it with water from a ground uh, from a groundwater source. Then we saw how distributing and refilling work. We we saw we took water to the greenhouses, to our productions, to our animals, and also to our machinery. And with that, we arrived to the end. Thanks for your attention. Thanks for your support. Let me know what you think of the Global Goods Palette. A palette to rule them all in the comment section below. Now, having said that, and as usual, be nice, play nice, and see you around in general.